Hello everybody, I'm Beakertick, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to Civ 5. As you can see, we have explored a large area of the map up here. We've got these guys sort of on auto explore mode, which is always handy. Um, we've got a couple, we've got a whole bunch of settlers actually. We've got this settler here, we've got this settler here, who you know, uh, currently traveling places. We've got this settler who, who's going to found a city just there. Um, but what we currently have to decide is what is Moscow going to create? I don't need more settlers. That much is for sure. Um, military guy recommends the Triome, which I guess is probably not the worst idea. Um, economic advisor recommends a stable and... The science advisor recommends a lighthouse. So I'm going to go ahead and build a lighthouse, which is only four turns anyway. Um, sorry, that was what Mos uh, Bigger City is producing. Moscow is producing a workshop. Um, hang gardens have been produced in a far off land. That's fine. That's neither here nor there. These settlers are moving this way. Brussels and Japan are now allies, which is fantastic. We have researched writing which is good um so we need to choose another research which i think i shall go ahead and uh do i want to do the calendar or what will this give me stone stoneworks plantation i'll go ahead and do that that's actually something i really want to do i'm also going to go ahead and move to this square here and then you're going to found a city you are going to go just here uh you guys are gonna do nothing you guys are going to uh just fortify for a second uh japan is now the ally of brussels that's fine you can go you can chop down a forest that's fine uh the current tile improve oh Oh, really? That's a pain. Um, how about you go up here and then you can chop down a, a forest? That sounds like a good idea. You guys are doing stuff. You are the Budapest pikemen. You're not to be worried about. Let's produce, uh, produce, progress to the next turn. We do have a couple settlers over here, which I should probably make sure uh, they don't go too near this place, which is actually going to be a stalemate, which isn't ideal. But anyway, the cultural elite of Helsinki yearn for something to dazzle them. They believe if a great library is built, it will lead to great enlightenment. Should you be the one to accomplish this, they'll see to it that you are amply rewarded. Which is nice. Um, what I'd like... Ah, uh, see, yeah, you, it's just going to be a stalemate. So, can I get another... How, how quickly can you guys move up here? Four turns. Blimey. Um, that's fine. You go ahead and do nothing. You do nothing. We'll skip over you. You can found a city, which is Yaroslavl, or however the hell you say that. You guys are going to go ahead and fortify until we come in. We need to choose a production for Yaroslavl, uh, which is going... <laughs> however the hell you say that. Which is going to be the library... Uh, no, the Great Library, which is 185 turns... But, you know, it's worth it. So you guys are just going to start work on the Great Library for now. You do have a group of spearmen to protect you, which is nice and handy. Um, also, I got writing. So let's go in here. Let's talk to Alexander. Uh, let's discuss. Um, discuss with you. Um, no, back. Actually, I want to trade open borders uh which make peace with with me oh you can't because it's uh right open borders and for it i think oh goodbye what do i want i want saint petersburg back don't i can i trade open borders plus and I, I want, 
I want St. Petersburg back. Um, what will make this deal work? I'm sorry, I don't see a way to make this deal work. What if I give that back? 10 gold for open borders? Sure. That's fine. So they can now go back through me because I, I don't like this guy just being here. Um, so that's fine. Japan, um, discuss. Shall we become friends? I must decline. Okay. Trade. Let's say open borders with you. Uh, and that's, what would you give me for this? 27 gold. Let's accept. Lovely. Uh, because now I can more easily sort of travel through here which is actually what I need to do with my settlers I really need to get through there somehow so that's actually going to be quite a big benefit to me um, I'm looking forward to that um, so Japan and Greece can now freely roam through me but I can also freely roam through them as well so let's go ahead and choose a thing to research let's get mathematics or philosophy Let's let's go ahead and research philosophy. You guys are going to produ uh, produce a plantation, which is fantastic. You guys are going to do nothing. You guys are going to do nothing. That's fine because eventually I want I want to settle like hereish somewhere, preferably if possible. Um, right? Do we, we don't quite have a trade route there. We almost do. Very, very close to having that trade route. But that's okay. Move on to the next turn. You guys are going to keep heading up there. Um, your guarantee of not expanding near seems to have been empty words. Know that there will be great uh, consequences. We're sorry that this caused a divide. I want to I want to play a bit nice to them. Your habit of claiming every bit of land you've spotted has not gone unnoticed. I advise you to discontinue this. Uh, our apologies will refrain from settling near you in future. Um, is that because of, of Yaroslavl? up here i guess i guess it probably is isn't it which is a shame uh let's choose production for beaker city uh beaker city is going to produce stonehenge maybe or should we get let's go ahead and get a library um if i get that i get back zero gold which is a shame um there's really no other land for me that i can get i mean i'd like to I'd like to settle some more cities, but to be honest, it's kind of a small map. I'm slowly running out of area. And I've got all these freaking settlers that... Oh, sorry, these two settlers that, at this point, um, I'm going to I'm gonna run out of, of, you know, space at some point. Um, so that's okay. These guys, for now, can just head... I can go through. Let's Let's just get them heading out this way. Um, so you're going to head to there as well. We'll go ahead to the next turn. These guys are going to move up to here. Uh, and then we can we can sort of pincer attack them. That's that's the plan anyway. Right. So, naval units. Aha. Fantastic. Thank you. So, how... you? Wow, you can go quite some distance in one turn. Which is fantastic. So, Rostov, you can go ahead and produce me another... Try me, I think. Um, the what? What makes them faster? Workshop speeds the city's production, but it does take thirty turns to do. So how about we just keep producing some boats? Uh, so you can do that. You uh, need some orders, so I'm just gonna. Oh, you still can't go into deep water either, which is a bit of a shame. So you're just gonna come over, sort of here, and chill. Uh, for a bit and we should be fine um i mean oh well there is all this map still to explore so how about that okay no that that's fine that's fine for now um you are producing a crepos which is nice so go ahead and do some things uh stonehenge has been built in a faraway land which is a shame uh so let's go ahead and choose the productions for Novgorod. You produced something else. What, you, what did everyone recommend? A library. You could, I guess, go ahead and do that. It's probably not the worst idea, so you can do that. Um, 
two turns to there, five turns to there, or you move to there, you move to there. Uh, out of turns, out of moves, that's fine. Who needs orders? You. Can I automate you? I don't think I can, can I? Construct a lumber mill. Uh, construct a farm. Currently there's a trading post, which actually I prefer the trading post. So how about you go here and you build a plantation, uh, which you can do in just a sec. You guys are so close to building a road. And then I'll have that extra uh, trading post, which, uh, sorry, extra trading route, which is going to be very, very handy. Um, oh my god, those guys are freaking coming in, aren't they? But Yaroslavl has grown, and as has Rostov, you can see that there. But choose production for Moscow, which is going to go ahead and be a... Um, you could build a, a Colosseum, which isn't a bad idea. Um, monument? That's only four turns. Um, and that gives us more culture. And I think culture at this point is a good thing. That's a minor victory. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And then these guys will go in and hopefully claim the decisive victory over them. Which is going to be good. Decisive victory. Take them all out. We can claim there. And then hopefully our settlers uh, might hopefully be able to come in here. Which is fine. So we do that. Um... Oh, uh, is there any room here to do anything? There's really no room, is there? Which is fine. Um, how about... Huh. I don't know what to do with these guys. Um, right, build me a plantation, that's fine. Trade route has been established, which is always good. Uh, and Yaroslavl has two citizens, which is good. But again, you're only working on the Great Library, which is just going to take like 99 more turns. Um, which I guess is fine. You guys have built that now, so that's fine. Uh, recommended to construct a camp. So you can do that. You can go ahead and build a camp. You are exploring. I think you can go ahead and explore like out there. That's probably not the worst idea in the world. And we can move on to the next turn. I believe our settlers are set to move around, which is good. Uh, we can now build the temple and all that kind of stuff uh, as well. So I'm going to get these here warriors to... Well, actually, I'm going to... I'm going to just say uh, fortify until healed, uh, which is fine. We can choose another research of... Theology or mathematics, maybe? Civil service? Compass? Um, that could be kind of handy. Let's, let's go ahead and get mathematics for now. And then we'll get the compass, which I think is going to be a good thing. We have discovered a barbarian encampment down here. So I might send my spearmen down to them. Uh, and Rostov wants dyes. Connecting that will be handy. That's cool. Let's go ahead and move into the next turn. Why do you not just just go up here? Blimey, come on. Do that. I don't want to keep having to tell you to do it. I just want you to do it. Um, but it doesn't look like they're going to do it automatically, which is frustrating. But that's okay. It's fine. I can, I can cope with that. Let me just uh, take a quick drink. Ah, Brussels targets nearby encampment. Um, well, that's fine because I will be doing that. Um, so as soon as I uh, capture this with these guys, will be fine. Uh, which means I kind of actually want you. That's 13 turns, 15 turns, 12 turns to there. Um... Is it worth it? Uh, well, we'll do it. That's fine. Um, we can now choose a production for Beaker City, which is going to be a temple, um, which is nice. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, these guys are jumping on their boats, which is always nice. Um, right. Unit needs orders, which is 
you guys, you've built a uh, the plantation. So how about you go here and then you build another plantation. That seems like a good idea. And then once you guys have built a plantation, what I'm going to get you to do is build a road all the way out to Yaroslavl. Um, that's a decisive victory. So you just just do that. Like, I'm, it's only archers there. So how about you just take them out? Like, that's really easy for you. And then I get 40 gold from destroying that. And Brussels, I get loads of influence over them, which is very, very handy. Um, we're now friends with them. So that's nice. Uh, they're then going to sort of wander back that way. Uh, and then we can move on to the next turn. Right. Things are going pretty well right now. We're getting loads of money. Uh, happiness is pretty good. This is... Next Golden Age is uh, kind of far away, but that's fine. A unit can be promoted. Um, they don't need to heal. They can get cover, medic, drill, shock. Let's go ahead and become a medic. I think that's probably one of the most useful uh, skills at this point. Uh, and I'd like you... To produce me... Well, that's Science Advisor. That's the... Um, how about you produce me a temple as well? I think that's probably a good idea. You've produced a plantation. So I'd like you to route to Yaroslavl. Which is, going, which is kind of ridiculous and going to take a long time. But I think in the end will be totally worth it. Um, you guys can actually come back to Moscow. You guys can come back, uh, down to Rostov. Uh, and then you can sort of sit in there, garrison that city. Uh, and then I don't have to worry about you too much once I've garrisoned you. So that seems like a good thing. Um, or at least in my mind, that's, that's going to be a good thing. Um, because the less I have to worry about them, I've sort of established everything, um, Oh, sorry, explored everything. So, I think it's fine. Um, what do I want you to do? You're a worker. You can, I guess, just keep doing what you're doing. You can just get furs and the like. But is there no way to... What else is around here? Nothing really, is there? You could, of course, clear all the forest and stuff. But I think for now, we'll just go here and build some stuff. You're going to go ahead and construct a plantation again, because that gives us lots of gold, which gold is always nice. We need to choose a research, which I said I was going to get uh, a compass, uh, which gives us a harbor, um, which I think is kind of handy. It's going to give us... Or do we want the... We can build bridges, forts, and aqueducts. Currency... Ena enables conversion of production to wealth and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, I'm going to get the compass because I said that that's what I was going to do. Um, biggest city to enter. We love the King Day, which is nice. City of Rostov now has three citizens, which is fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and move to the next turn. But yeah, things are, things are going pretty well. I need to get myself an iron uh, production. Because that's kind of what people want at this point. Um, that's that's okay. How about... Uh, if you build a lumber yard, you can do that. Do that for me. That's fine. I think that's actually going to be kind of useful. You're going to just fortify until healed. You can't go on land, which is... So again, I still don't really see the point of you. Um, but that's okay. You can do ranged attack, which is kind of handy. We're just going to automatically explore, get everything. So you're going to automatically explore the water. There's a dude up here somewhere automatically exploring the land and everything. These guys are heading around this way to settle some cities. How about one of you goes up here and settles the city there? That seems like a good idea. That seems like a really, really good idea, actually. Um, though admittedly, everyone is pissed off that I keep settling cities, which I guess is kind of fair enough, but... I think there's an okay place to do it. Um, we should be fine. Clearing a forest has created 20 thing from Moscow, which is nice. Who was building me the road to... You're constructing a plantation. 
who was building me the road all the way up to Yaroslavl? I genuinely can't remember. Um, huh, what do I want to do? I mean, quite frankly, I want to mine, um, but I can't build a mine just there yet. Uh, so... I could have sworn it was you guys that were meant to do that. For you... Build this to there. Oh, can you not? Is that not possible? Why is that not possible? Huh. Strange. Okay, um... I, I don't know where I clicked just then, but you're doing something. So that's... <laughs> I have no idea what they're just doing right now. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Um... I think I'm going to end the episode there. I think that's plenty for this one. Yaroslavl is growing. Uh, and we can choose production for Beaker City, which is nice. So we'll go ahead and produce a oracle uh, for there. And you guys can just go ahead and fortify. Um, but I'm going to end the episode there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.